In this video, we want to speak about role forming machine components and role forming process. The basic role forming machine has a line that can be separated into four major parts. The first part is the entry section, where the material is loaded. The material is usually inserted in sheet form or fed from a continuous coil. The next section, the station rollers, is where the actual roll forming takes place, where the stations are located, and where the metal shapes as it makes its way through the process. Station rollers not only shape the metal, but are the main driving force of the machine. The next section of a basic roll forming machine is the cut-off press, where the metal is cut to a predetermined length. Due to the speed at which the machine works and the fact that it is a continuously working machine, flying die cut-off techniques are not uncommon. The final section is the exit station, where the finished part exits the machine onto a roller conveyor or table and is manually moved. The first part is the entry section includes Decoiler, to load raw material coil on that an open coil to a sheet, based on forming speed. A material handling machine located at the beginning of a production line. Decoiler used to hold and safely pay off or uncoil the steel strip. Coiler controls the speed and direction of the strip of metal and is sent to the line for processing, such as slitting or tube mill entry also roll forming entry. Decoiling is the action of unwinding a parent coil, making it flat and cutting it into sheets. Pre-punching and marking, some of the holes should punch before forming based on design, also upon requirement. We will add marking roller before forming stations. Roll formed parts often require hole punching along the length of the part. These holes, not sure tab patterns can be at regular or irregular intervals in either custom roll formed profiles or standard roll formed shapes. For the roll forming process, it is advisable to design holes outside of the bend lines to avoid edge distortion. If the punching can be done in line in a seamless process of punching, forming, and cutting to length, the customer is saved the expense of secondary punching operations. All holes, notches, or tabs are precisely punched on the flat metal strip before it enters the roll forming die stations. By matching the travel speed of the pre-punched die with the line speed of the material we are able to punch on the fly with precision and speed that exceed industry standards. After the profile is fully roll formed, it is then cut off to precise length with the same programmable servo controlled system.
performing stations, the number of stations comes from our experienced design DPT, based on thickness and shape each drawing needs different forming stations number. Roll forming machine work continues by special roll design on the amount of stand. All stand drives together and will roll material at the same speed. Roll forming technology came for easier and faster processing on sheet metal to precise demanded profile. Each stand of tooling will make small forming on material and pass it to the next stand. As a result, we will have the required profile shape. Roll forming machine design, cold roll forming is one of the complex forming processes in which the quality of products is highly dependent on the process parameters. Some roll forming parameters of channel section investigate on the edge longitudinal strain and bow defect of products such as bending angle increment and strip thickness and flange width of section, web width of the section and friction in the roll and strip contact also speed of roll and distance between the roll stand. It is important to consider these parameters for roll forming process design. Roll forming machines are also good for creating precise parts that require very little, if any, finishing work. In most cases, depending upon the material being shaped, the end product features an excellent finish and very fine detail. Torque head or final guide, in any roll forming machine last station before cutting should be torque head, to modify length twisting and turning to have a final 6 meter length in standard accuracy and shape. Cutting or saw machine, at the end of forming machine we install the cutting system that's hydraulic or mechanic saw and it can be flying to make non-stop cutting. It's up to forming machine speed and budget requirements. If you need more information about roll forming machines just subscribe to our YouTube channel and see other videos on this topic.